What's up guys? How you doing? Well, I hope. Uh, today is a little bit more Vidmas and Vlogmas TBH, but uh, you guys have been asking so many questions about my hair. I'm about to get ready for the day and I wanted to just share a few things with you um, about why I've been wearing wigs, um, about uh, the wigs that I'm wearing. So I'm going to kind of get ready. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and then I'm going to style this wig in the way that you have been really liking both in videos and on my Instagram. Let's talk about hair. I have natural hair and I have for almost ever. Like I, I stopped perming my hair in the dark ages. Like I don't even remember. Like I was the, the precipice of me cutting all my hair off. It was mostly blow dry damage, to be honest, uh, was when my mom got sick. So if you've not been here for a while, my mom passed away um, four years ago and um, breast cancer, feel your boobies, very important. Uh, so um, she passed away and, but when she was sick, you know, she lost her hair and I cut all mine off and sort of solidarity that's when i started kind of like making videos and well more like being online with my natural hair and stuff like that and enter youtube a place where you know creators need to uh feel good about how they look like frequently because <laughs> you're filming so much and you're constantly looking in the viewfinder like what do i look like and you know me my my entire job is taking photos of myself and being online, putting myself out there, selfies, the whole thing. So I always, and the funny thing is Nick, now I've been taking so many selfies because I feel like it's just a fun kind of change in content. I'm getting a little bit bored, to be honest, with just posting outfits. Uh, so I've been switching it up a little. But in that, and my good friend Lyd, Lydia, who you guys have seen here, can tell you, uh, cause she's, um, taken my photo for so many years that I would always be like, I can't take selfies. I'm not good at selfies. I hate how I look in selfies, whatever. And it was really, it was my hair, like something about the shape of my Afro and maybe it was because I never like would go to salons and get it properly shaped. It would just do what it do. Um, but I always felt like my hair never looked good when I was holding it you know, holding a camera to my face. I liked myself in a photo, like if I was just sitting here, I generally liked how I looked, but something about the front facing holding it, it just, it didn't translate. I'd look in the mirror and be like, I feel like I look pretty, I like how I look. And then I would take a picture and I'd be like, no, who are you? I don't, I don't like it. So the challenge then became one, liking how I looked in photos. Um, when I had my natural hair out. The other thing became, um, we're just gonna put a little color on our cheeks. I don't even think I have a color palette here. That might be a lie. We're not putting color on our cheeks. Oh wait, I have some lipstick. I'll just use that. Um, so the other thing became getting ready. So the best way for me, well, no, let's just, let's go back. The other, oh, this is blush. What is this? What am I doing? I love flesh, but I want them to say what things are. Like, I don't, what, what am I doing? I think that's blush. Okay, so the other thing is that I can't find my blush brush, but in addition, whatever, I'm just gonna use this. Sorry. The other thing is that uh, the prep time. Like, I like a wash and go, kinda. My hair has so much shrinkage, so much. Like, it doesn't even matter if I style it, what I put in it. Um, if there was any humidity in the day, I'd look in the mirror, I'd come out looking like how I wanna look and then I'd walk by a reflection, like a mirror, and I'd be like, what the, my hair completely <laughs> just dissolved into itself to where, I mean, to like more than half the length would be gone. And I know length isn't the most important thing, but it's just part of like what I, I like my hair big and full if it's my hair. So, and I'm sure a lot of you can understand that, especially, you know, those of us with like a rounder face, for example, it's just like, I'm not saying that it's, you know, the correct way of thinking, but like, we have to like the way we look, the end, right? So, ooh, that blush is pretty. Can you see that? I like. Uh, so, that led to this feeling of like this unpredictability, like, 
one day my curls would be popping and I would of course be like photo curls popping and people would be like your hair is so beautiful da, da, da. two hours later I would look totally different I'd be like I don't even know who that person is like where did those perfect curls go it's now like you know half curly half frizzy and half like I don't even know what um, and then 100% shrunken <laughs> it would be hanging here and it would look like my bangs like what is happening so and this is like this is a very raw honest conversation none of this is to suggest that my natural hair is not beautiful none of this is to suggest that I don't like my natural hair I actually quite love the texture of my hair it's just when your job is taking photos every day making videos every day it's really hard to have bad hair days every third day because like you can't you can't ever predict I would get ready and only be going to Target and my hair would look better than it's looked all year. I would do the exact same steps, the exact same way uh, on an important day for a photo shoot and I would look half crazy and I'd get to sit and they're like, can you do your hair like yesterday? And I'm like, mm, I wish, I don't know, I'm not in control. I don't control this head. So, <laughs> best of luck to all of us. I don't know what to tell you. So, <laughs> it just became this like crap. So I, um, I started slicking my hair back as you know because you probably met me that way I, and it was just supposed to be this like summertime like quick okay perfect I think I look great like this and it's easy and it's nothing I'll do it for a week or two I slicked my hair back for almost all of 2017 what why I, what and that's not like me that is not like me at all yeah I would look cray on important days and really hate it i slicked my hair back for like almost a whole year and in that time i bought one wig and because i'm not really a wig nista like i'm not a wig nista i'm not a weave nista none of that like i never really wore a lot of fake hair um but there have been times glow kel glow there have been times this uh highlighter because i know you're gonna ask is the albatross from nars that looks like this and it looks like this, really pretty. So, um, are we gonna put anything on our lips? Oh wait, we should do a little mascara. So I, uh, I'm not really that person. There have been times in the past where Carla has given me um, a weave and it was glorious and great or whatever. She made me like a complete like U part and hooked me up. And then I've had like a sew in that time, remember recently, like that lady gave me the worst weave of my entire life with that ponytail. So I don't have a lot of history. So flash forward, we're in the hair store and I'm looking around and um, my actually one of my best friends, Rosa, her hair is very much like this, like loose, very loose waves and just always, and I just think it's always so like effortless and cool and she always gets like cool haircuts and stuff like that. Um, so that was kind of in my mind and um, I like like shorter lengths. I don't, I like long hair, but this is definitely more me. And it's also like the length, my, my natural hair is actually longer than this. My, my hair is probably like about here because it lays more to my chest. Um, but I like these cute like bobs and stuff like that. So uh, I tried on a bunch of things and I found this guy. I will pop in the, the whatever, the card I guess for what the wig is so that if you guys want to purchase it you can and um, I'll try to find a link for you so that I can link it below um, and I got tried on a bunch I tried on this and I was like yes like this is exactly how I want to look I'm so freaking happy with this wig this hair is the hair that I want to put on every single day and I'm obsessed with it. I, um, I, the first day that I got it, I think I just added a few little curls to it because this is the hair in its like natural state, meaning like once you wash it, I've washed this wig twice, even though I've only had it for like two weeks because this hair really likes product and it's responding really well to this baby. So this way, it is the texturizing hairspray. First of all, it smells like unicorn tears in a bottle mixed with like the blood of virgins. I don't know. It's something so seductive and cool. It, it smells like, all right, my marketing brain, honestly, it smells like expensive. It smells like hair care. It smells like beauty. 
it smells like a really cool magazine. I, like, I don't know how to explain this. It's like such a cool girl smell. Like if I walked, if I was talking to someone and I smelled their hair, I would just think they were the coolest chick. Like it's not this like gorgeous feminine, it's not a sophisticated smell. It's just, it's effortless and it's really freaking cool. So try that. And obviously I'm a freaking fan, not sponsored, but hello, like feel free or at least just send me a product cause mm, I want to use this forever. One thing I will say about this wig, if you're going to purchase it, it is not dense at all. Like I touch and I'm like, there's the cap. Like she's right there. Uh, it looks to me super, super natural. And that's why I like it. I like that it looks like the hair growing out of my head. If I, like when I used to relax my hair, this is literally what it looked like. So I, I like that. Um, it could be a little thicker. It could, but using products that kind of like thickening products and things that add more texture, adding a few little curls, it really does help. So all of that said, we've talked for so long, but I just wanted to kind of explain, um, so many of you, of you have asked about this hair more than any other hair I've ever worn. People are like, sis, run me, them, run me that link, <laughs> sis, run me the name of that wig, cause we need her. Um, and women of all kinds, I've had, Black women, Latin women, white women, everybody asking me about this wig. I think everyone loves to change their hair. Some people may need a wig, you know, if they have any sort of hair conditions, scalp conditions, illnesses, things like that. Wigs are a great option to feel good about yourself. If you're just a fun person who likes to switch their hair up, wigs are such a fun, great, easy option. If you're looking to protect or transition your hair, wigs are such a great option and the other thing about this one it is freakishly comfortable like it, there's no like snatching your wig off as soon as you come in the house the way you like snatch off a bra or like snatch off your heels it's super comfortable um and it doesn't feel like anything is on my head the cap is plenty like big enough and it's very comfortable um there are no clips in it so if you like clips you can totally add one but it does have that hook in the back that like helps you adjust the size if your head is smaller um, and if you have a big head she is definitely big head friendly the bangs were a little longer um and i did cut them so just know that and there's like some random one long hair hanging in my face but yeah so that's basically it so let's get into styling the wig i honestly hope this video isn't too rambly because i'm not going to edit it much like i've just been talking and you know telling my truth and <laughs> we're just gonna go with that so what i've been doing is taking very small pieces and i'm obsessed with this brush i got it off amazon um the hairs are really really soft so it's perfect for really soft hair my natural hair would laugh at this brush laugh its face off so what i've been doing is taking a curling iron that's about this big and i take a piece of hair that's about this big the curling iron is turned to the back so the clamp part is this way if you're using a wand you would wand this way um and let's turn her down she feels a bit warm okay taking the hair and wrapping it around like really close to the root but leaving all of this hair free so the trick is is that you do not want to curl the ends of the hair it makes a huge difference like it's just so much cooler this way um and taking really small pieces is also helpful because you get like that kind of cool wave and you're not really doing it see how much hair i'm leaving out like do not curl the ends because you'll be sad you'll be looking like shirley temple and it does this, it just makes this cool, like wilty kind of curl um, that when you kind of put your fingers through it, it just feels like a naturally like textured wave. Like it's basically me adding a little more texture to this hair without um, like curling it too aggressively. Okay, we have the hair curled. There's like this one rogue hair that is torturing my life before i also um kind of like finger through the hair i'm going to take a little bit of this texturizing spray and just sort of like hit the hair god it smells so good i wish you could smell through the camera um so that's it so all i'm gonna do is kind of like 
shake her loose a little not really mess with it too much because I want that very tousled you know just woke up fresh out of bed look but hello we all know no one wakes up like this <laughs> this is the look this is the wig the story behind the wigs love your hair love yourself but also be free you know if you want to try something new absolutely do it it's your body it's your hair you can switch it up i feel like especially us black girls like it is a part of our magic you know all the the, the tricks and things that we do with our hair um so i really like this wig i recommend it is not super dense so if that's what you're looking for know that you're getting this like easy wispy vibe that's what we're getting um thank you so much for watching this was super chatty um but there was a lot to kind of get through glad you stuck with me um vlogmas is about to be you're not ready so i am going to jump into my day i have to pack i have to go pick up some things for a shoot i'm doing while i'm away and then we have literally there are like three trips in december get ready and before christmas four there are four trips you guys you guys so we're gonna have so much fun i can't wait to see you tomorrow in a new city and we're gonna have so much fun we're gonna do some cool stuff we're gonna do something i've never done before dun 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 yeah so we're out here um we're doing it we're doing it hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe um sorry for the vidmas style video but there are going to be a couple of these um throughout the month just a couple just a couple uh so yeah thank you for watching thank you for letting me ramble love you so much who am i love you so much love you mean it bye